Sonic Heroes is one of those games where a lot of people feel differently all across the board on every single aspect about this game. There's so much to this game. And for Sonic fans and not Sonic fans alike, this game has left an impact on the entire industry. Some people might argue that this is the beginning of the downfall of Sonic altogether, while others might say this is one of the best Sonic games ever made. And personally, I am one of the latter. I think Sonic Heroes is a phenomenal game, not necessarily because of the game itself, because there's a lot of flaws to it as well. But I do think that Sonic Heroes has one of the most beautiful design mentalities in gaming everywhere. Now let me first point out that I think it's very fair to criticize Sonic Heroes for what it does wrong. There are so many little things that could be so much better and the game generally isn't polished enough. There are a lot of small glitches, there's just a lot of stuff going on all the time and level design wise it isn't always up to speed. Get it? Because it's Sonic. But I think there's so much to the general game design philosophy in this game and there's so much that this game has to offer in terms of style as well as in terms of visuals and in terms of grandiose. You know how bombastic it tries to be, how everything it tries to be, it's just beautiful to me. But this is all in terms of style both graphically and aesthetically and I think they really got that right with Sonic Heroes. A bit more lighthearted to keep the edge of things but still serious enough to be taken seriously in the end. It's fair to say this game is bad. I honestly don't think that people are necessarily wrong in this respect but I just personally don't agree because I think that there's so much more to this game. If you if you dislike this game because of the gameplay, because the gameplay feeling too fast or too messy, I've heard a lot of people say it feels like you just slide around the entire stage because Sonic is too fast and his speed counterparts are too fast. I totally get that. It could have been polished a little bit more. I agree with that, especially with things like the edge collision and light speed dashes not always functioning correctly. This is just a fact. Some of these things aren't always as good as they could be. It also looks weird that some characters keep jumping around everywhere when you're simply taking a turn or anything like that, right? But there's a lot of stuff to this game that is beautiful. This is mostly in terms of the actual game design. So everyone knows Sonic Heroes is a game where you have three different characters. A speed character, a power character and a flying character. It's because I kind of got annoyed by the fact that people started talking about Team Sonic Racing being a Heroes inspired game. Sure, maybe at a very, very, very fundamental level in terms of, hey, it's with teams. But other than that, it's nothing like Sonic Heroes. Like, Sonic Heroes is a game where switching is essential, but it's still very free and it's still very open. Team Sonic Racing, it doesn't even matter if you have three speed characters or not. You know, it's not that dependent on it and on the way you use it. It's just a simple racing game. And with that, I do mean simple because I, for as far as I've seen, it doesn't look like it's gonna be very deep. And that's my biggest criticism of that game, but I've talked more than enough about that recently. Other than that, it's beautiful because there's so much behind this gameplay philosophy. The biggest thing that I tend to hear is the fact that the other characters slow the speed character down. Now I don't agree with this, I think this is a rather stupid notion to a certain extent because it's all about the way you utilize these characters. There's no definitive way of getting past obstacles, there's always you know, things that are implied by the game itself, but you can beat like one third of Sonic's story with just Sonic. There's nothing more to it than that. You can simply actually beat a lot of the stages with just one character if you really wanted to. But the beautiful part about this experience always being an exciting experience is that you can switch these characters up with a button's press and therefore gaining a whole different set of abilities and this you can utilize in a way that it becomes such a skill based game. It's so satisfying if you get the correct inputs right in this game because it's this complicated, because there's so many different ways of playing this game. And this doesn't only apply to the general game design, but also to level design. There are a lot of different sections to games, there are a lot of different ways you can take. Sure, a lot of the game is 
linear, but there's so many ways to go about certain things in this game. There's so many ways to beat certain enemies, there's so many different pathways, especially in stages like Grand Metropolis, right? Where you can go all different ways depending on the actual character you like using most. It's just a wonderful game design. It does instruct you to do certain things certain ways, but it doesn't hinder the freedom of you picking what character you want whenever, and therefore making every playthrough your own playthrough. There's no right or wrong except if you die. You don't always need to use a certain character in one situation and another character in another situation. Like the levels are built around this entire principle and it's just a beautiful notion. I honestly wish more video games had this kind of design mentality, but they don't generally, especially not Sonic games. And I love the boost gameplay in Sonic. I hope that's more than apparent by now. But you can't deny that it isn't as diverse and as open as this is. It's just not. It's way more you do a thing right or wrong and there are no ways to go about it. And also because there are so many different characters, three per team with all their each unique movesets, the way you play is actually unique to you. You might use a certain move way more than others might and you will still apply to getting A ranks on every stage just in a completely different way. There's no one way to do things perfectly. Sure, it's hard to master everything in this game. I agree and that makes it maybe even more beautiful because it being hard means that you can put more of yourself in it and it rewards people for playing their own way but playing it well. This is just beautiful. I can't name another Sonic game that does something like this as consistently as the Heroes does. If you're gonna compare this with Sonic Forces and say, well, hey, the uh, custom hero is going to impact this in the same exact way, no, that's not true at all because the custom hero and modern Sonic himself just don't have anything close to the amount of skills that the characters and heroes have, making everything way less diverse. The stages are way more linear and there's generally a notion from them just being like, okay, there's just one way to do this well and no other way. Well, in Sonic Heroes, it's so free. There's almost no automated sections and if they are, they're simply there to be as a, to serve the role as a reward, not to trick you into thinking, oh wait, I'm actually doing this. No, Sonic Heroes doesn't bullshit people with this kind of mentality. It's an actual game and its design philosophy is one of the most beautiful I've seen in Sonic, if not in gaming in general. It's a perfect example of a game that's actually pretty linear, but offers so much for the player to either explore or do things a certain way, to go out of your way to do things your way with certain characters and maybe even be rewarded with it. Or not, you know, it all depends on your skill, on what you like to do and how you like to insert yourself in this game. That's truly something you can do with this. You can insert your own playstyle in this game. Maybe you're heavy on the speed types, maybe you're heavy on the power types, maybe you're heavy on the flying types, maybe you like playing with Big the Cat more because he has the stomp move. Who knows? But it's beautiful because you can just take yourself, insert yourself in the game and just play it the way you'd want to play it. It's not constructed in a way do or do not, fail or win. No, there's just so many options to this. Now this doesn't take away from the fact that this game does have its issues. I'm not saying this is the perfect game, it's not at all. I think there's so many issues with this game and that's really too bad because it had so much potential. You can hear it in my voice, you can hear it by the things I'm saying. This could have been the best Sonic game ever made, if not one of the best games ever made in general. But you know how Sonic Team is. Let's rush the game, let's extend it in a boring way, let's make sure that not every port is as good as the other and let's make sure that there's a lot of bugs and glitches. Obviously if you make a game where you play as a team, meaning you have a huge moveset, you will stumble across more bugs. So I think that for as much options you have in this game that they did pretty well, but I totally get why it might trip people up. And there's no excuse for that. There are just things that aren't completely correct in this game. They're just minor, really minor, but I really understand that especially people that aren't into Sonic feel like wow this isn't this isn't as good as it could have been then there's the general feel and art style and everything about this game that i honestly personally really love i think they captured sonic and his friends so incredibly well in this game there's so much character to every character even if it's in a really minimalistic setting even if they don't necessarily try to explain them with story arcs or anything like that you can see you can almost feel the way these characters are and this only adds to the bizarre style style and intense gameplay to this game. Like some of the dialogue is a bit corny if not annoying, but 
there's so much character to these characters, even having this in mind. And then there's the fact that this isn't the only thing that the gameplay consists of. There's like so many different sections that have these really intense subsections where it's like you either go in a cart and the cart mechanics itself are very beautiful as well where where every time you get hit in the cart a character falls off and you lose the trait of that character to that car like if Tails dies you can't jump and if Sonic dies you can't make as much speed it's just it's just so smart and it's just a little subsection they could have made that subsection really boring or even automated to hell like they would have in Sonic Forces you know they would have but in this game it's just beautiful there's nothing that stops it from being insane and fast paced and keeping your attention making sure that you are never like ugh it's there all the time it's absurd all the time you also got like little subsections where you're shot out of a cannon where you need to evade all kind of stuff at supersonic speed while blasting through the air it's just so explosive and expressive and everywhere and it's just beautiful and I think that this is the thing that Sonic does the best especially in this game playing this game it's all high paced high tension everything is there everything is in your face and because of everything switching up all the time either you with your characters trying to make the best of different sections as possible and just getting your gameplay out there and playing the game to the best of your extent it just keeps you going and because of there being so much difference while not being inconsistent in terms of the gameplay but still always switching it up no matter what's going on either with cool set pieces or different gameplay styles, different level design, different level design sections or even different gameplay mechanics altogether, it always keeps it fresh and that's the core of this game, that's the core of this game's mentality. Keeping it fresh the whole time, keeping it interesting the whole time, that is what Sonic Heroes is at its core. If only they didn't throw this entire mentality away by having you play through every stage four times. With that, what do you think? Do you think Sonic Heroes is at its core a really good game, but they just kind of messed it up? Do you think they didn't mess it up at all, and it's actually a beautiful game by every standard possible? Or do you generally dislike or hate this game and think it's just a bad game? Which is totally fair if you think that way. Please let me know in the comment section down below, I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. And don't forget to hit that bell, because otherwise I don't make money. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Ciao.